Hello, everyone, and welcome. So are we interested in doing some gestures? So I've got some pretty interesting setup here today. We've got multiple different slides. I'd like everyone who is present to pick a slide. So uh, move on to a different sequence panel. I've got a, a little lineup of some reference photos that I grabbed off of uh, Pinterest, which I'm not normally a huge fan of Pinterest, but this is good for getting something that's definitely uh, not going to be an issue. All right. So we've got Andy and he is approved because he found his slide. Uh, so on there, you're going to be able to take over some layers. We're going to go through each of the references uh, one by one. And we're going to talk about the different things that uh, that I would do to like break it down. And uh, so you'll be able to take over those layers and turn them on as we go forward, right? Um, so each pick like a different sequence panel. You can see here at the bottom. Yep. Perfect. Perfect. Angel bugs. You're great. You're approved. That is your panel. Um, Jay, if there's a way for you to go to the third one, that'd be super, super dandy. Um. <laughs> Oh, nice. We've already got someone on the third one. Or or maybe not. All right. <laughs> Here we go. And approved. Okay. So, how are we doing today, guys? Are you guys excited to do gestures? <laughs> I know I am. So gestures is something that I've been doing for a little while now. It was something that I had interest in getting started to learn and understand earlier this year. And when I started, it was a nightmare. <laughs> not, not quite that bad. I'm being dramatic. But um, for the most part, I was a total beginner. I had no idea what I was doing. And <laughs> Andy, same, right? Um and so through a series of different studies, I've come to understand them a little bit more. Now, disclaimer, <laughs> I am not the be all end all of gestures. In fact, I, I would consider myself a beginner, like an advanced beginner uh, still. So it'll be really cool to do this. I was thinking of doing uh, gestures on a classroom maybe every year or maybe every six months or so. Kind of see the progress and maybe bring in some of the old work that we did during streams and compare and see the progress. Maybe you guys can join me on that endeavor. Oh, good to see you too, Bug. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna wait a little bit more, see if we can get uh, some more people rolled in, just give them an opportunity to show up. But um, have any of you guys done gestures before? I wanna hear from some people. Do we know what gestures are? <laughs> Like, how, how beginner am I going? I'm trying to feel the ground here. <laughs> Andy's done some gestures. Nice. Nice, nice. Oh, gestures are so fun. Can, can I just, like, lay down, like, how, how fun I think they are? So I used to, like, never sketch. Like, I, I started sketching, I think, like, and you guys are going to judge me, like, but, like, a year ago. I kid you not. I, I, I've always been a huge painting person. And I'm, I've always been quite um, lagging behind in my sketching, right? But uh, for me, gestures was a good way for me to slide into figuring out line work and try to figure out what my sketching would be like and, and just give myself like a, an area to be bad at doing something for long enough to isolate like the issues that I had and then work through them. Uh, so once again, I am not perfect to gestures by any means, uh, but I will walk you through what I can do uh, today. All right. Hello, Mr. Tea Leaf. Uh, shout out to Mr. Tea Leaf. Uh, his name is Oscar in real life. Um, he's going to be on one of our streams. He's going to be doing a mini clubhouse with me. Wait, let me check the events calendar in the Discord, by the way. You can always check what our events are at in the Discord. <laughs> Little shout out there. Um, so we're going to be having the Clubhouse with him 
on the 25th of March at 3 p.m. EST. So if you're interested in that, definitely go check it out in the Discord. You can check it out in the events calendar and click that little interested button because uh, you're sure to find more super fun stuff from him and from me. <laughs> so that'll be super fun. I'm not sure what our theme is yet. We'll have to figure it out. But let's see here. Mantis is saying, first time joining an event. Love to do some fun gestures. Nice. Nice, Mantis. Is Canvas for free? Uh, I think so. But you're on Canvas 3 if you want to keep Canvas 3. Uh, Jay, if you would like to pick a different sequence panel, then we can do that and then get started. Because the first one is going to be mine. Just just putting it out there. Or I mean, I, I could always go over here. Yeah, you know what? I'll do that. Here. I'll approve you over there. And I'll just go over here. <laughs> I think that's way better. So let's get started. So I picked this one. Um, because it has a very obvious kind of line of action. So I think that's the first thing that I want to talk about. When I look at this gesture, I see like the, I see the spine. Yep, Mantis. So what you can do is you can head into the layers and on your sequence panel, you should be able to double click on that layer, double left click, and then you can gain access to that layer and turn it on, right? So I see the line of action and you could even say it comes like from the leg as well. And I really like kind of this flow of the arms. So when I look at this reference, that's what I see, right? So without further ado, I'm just going to start drawing and you guys can do that too. And what you're looking to do, there's no timer, by the way, I'm this, <laughs> a lot of people do the timer thing. Um, I, that's just not my speed, but, um, um, sorry, <laughs> but I just, it's just not how I work. Like, I just, I don't know. <laughs> I've never really done the whole timer thing, but, uh, so I'm actually going to start with the torso. I used to start with the head first. I think the first, I would say like three months that I did gestures, I started with the head. Um. It gave me a lot of issues with proportions and it gave me a lot of issues with like figuring out what I was doing. So I like to focus on like what is happening and then I, <laughs> it's kind of hard to explain. It's like what is happening with the trunk of his body you know, a lot of beginners will start with the like pillow shape and that's exactly what I'm doing here. Basically, I'm just going, okay, there's a stretch side and there's, there's a side that's tucked in. Right. And we'll, we'll talk more about what's happening there in just a few moments, but I'm just going to like essentially just put in, put in my line of action. So like that's your spine. Right. And then where you're going with the limbs and there is quite a bit of perspective on that back leg so i'm going to try to be good about it just keeping that in mind going on it all fails if all fails use stick men <laughs> that's funny <laughs> that's actually really funny um no i tend to you know I, I don't always have the best gestures i feel like for me oh and there's also a lot of uh perspective on that 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 back uh, arm right there because the elbow is like straight at us. So do you keep that in mind when you go through that? I try to look at the negative space. So I'm just going to draw it out 
here like that. Do you see like this negative space? So you want to have it be like the same. So I'm, I'm really like when I'm making this arm, I'm looking more at the negative space that's there than what the actual arm is. Now, again, <laughs> like full disclaimer, I'm not like the best at gestures, but I will like just shout out what I'm what I'm seeing, what I'm doing. Um, oh, hi, shrimp. <laughs> oh, oh, it's Hadley. OK. Oh, nice. Cool. Welcome aboard, Hadley. Go ahead. Come right on in. We're having some fun. We're doing some gestures. And you'll notice I didn't put that many on queued up because I figure I'll be talking and <laughs> I don't even know if I'll get through all of them. We'll, we'll see. I might get into a rhythm. So what I did just now is establish this kind of, I would say overlap. Yeah, it's like an overlap. I'm just m pronouncing this kind of. And Oscar's over there going, overlaps. Oh, boy. Yeah, if anybody who doesn't know, Oscar is part of the Fablesmiths. And I think I have talked his ear off about overlaps. Oh, is that Hadley? Is that Hadley? It's Cosse! Cosse! Go find yourself a sequence panel. Should be two down. Cosse was Artist of the Week last week. He did a very awesome piece. He or she. I'm not sure. Um, I'm just going to go take a peek at what Oscar's doing. Ha 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 ha. Looking good. Hey, Kose, if I can get you to go to two slides down on the right. <laughs> oh, there you are. Perfect. Now I know exactly how long the delay is between <laughs> between YouTube and here. <laughs> oh, and we have Hadley. Hadley, if you could just find your way onto the next slide over. Looks good. Approved. Okay, so how you would go through this is you're gonna you're gonna double click the layer that you want to take over in your own sequence panel, and you're gonna you know, start doing the gesture. Um, nice, nice. Okay. So one of the things that I have to push myself on recently is my lines. As you can see, they're all kind of, they're short strokes. I'm, I'm really trying to make longer, longer strokes while maintaining proportion it's it's a lot harder than it seems guys it's really hard <laughs> and i might come back and like alter some things definitely but i'm just kind of taking in this perspective is really hard oh you just wait <laughs> you just wait there's more coming it's gonna be a party oh man I'm so sorry. I have been told I pick really hard references. I firmly apologize ahead of time. Rip. Um. <laughs> oh, don't worry. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. It's always good to get a challenge. Come on. Come on. Let's keep the spirit up. <laughs> None of that oh no stuff. Oh, yes. When it gets hard, that's when it gets interesting. That's when it gets fun. Let's go. Come on. Bring it. <laughs> All right, I got to work on this arm a little bit. I am way too far out. Come in with that. Again, I'm looking at that negative space. That's, that's what I'm looking at to determine this arm. You're seeking lot you're seeing basically lots of seeking lines from me. They're not super great, but I'm trying. Uh, that's too long. I always elongate arms and legs. It's like one of my 
<laughs> One of my like things. At least I'm aware, you know. <laughs> oh, this guy's got them Hercules hands. I love, I love this shape of hand. Like m men have such interesting sh shaped hands. I don't know what what it is. They have like blockier hands. They're just cool. Sorry. <laughs> I have fascinations with different parts of the two genders like bodies. Like I really like the beautiful curves that that women can get in their arms and in in like their legs and stuff. Like they can get beautiful lines and then like men have these I don't know what it is. Like just rugged looking hands. It's like Beautiful. <laughs> okay. So this arm here, I want to maintain, there's a rhythm here. I'm trying to maintain this. Right? So I'm going to I always have to, I kind of have to just draw. Yeah, men are, are more difficult to draw, I find. I don't know why I backed myself into a corner by picking a male reference, but. <laughs> okay, let's see. And I'm maintaining that right where his ankle is, is right about where his elbow stop, like just kind of stops there. I try to. Be respectful of that. I may be too long, actually. This doesn't look right. You'll always know when you're not doing right. It'll look wrong to you. You thought that about women, but improving? Or it's hard to draw women's bodies? Yeah, it's uh, very, very often, or from what I've seen so far from most people, it's like, it's most difficult to draw the gender that you are not. Let me know, you guys, if you have any questions. Like, I'm more than happy to answer them in the capacity that I have. Again, this whole thing is like a big di disclaimer that I'm like not the queen of gestures. I'm just the queen of trying hard. <laughs> um. I, I love to do it. I, I'm, again, not the best, but. Okay, so I'm seeing that the tip of these toes line up with kind of his wrist. Always measuring, like, you should always be kind of measuring. Now, the angle of this arm is basically like this. Kind of. Also, if you find me slow, that's totally fine. Totally normal. I'm chatting a little bit more than I should be just doing this. But if you find your rhythm and you like get into a zone, like do it. Cause that's like the best part. I, I usually always get into like this kind of like zone when I'm doing this, that I think I might be getting into soon. Where would the line of action be? Look at their spine, like look at, so he's kind of, he's facing that way, but then he's got like his spine is like this. Here, I'll grab a different color with this. Boink. Making noises again, jeez. So you've got, this is really like a cool kind of line that he has. And then you've got the spine shooting right down into that left foot. So I, I really love, I really love this pose for that because it's so clear what the line of action is.
And uh, they're ne there's never like a one size fits all answer to troubleshooting what the pose is. I just want to be very clear that like there is never like a this is absolutely right and this is absolutely wrong. Like you're going to find your own way, but it's also really cool to like discover somebody else's way. So if you're watching somebody do gestures, you can kind of figure out like what they're doing. Oh, wow, this foot. Dude, that foot is so interesting. He's got like, oh, it comes in like that. Okay, that makes more sense. Yeah, that, that foot is so interesting because it comes in and then out. And then you can't really see toes just kind of like that i feel like this leg is a little bit too long oh of course <laughs> sorry like like that and of course that's going to be wrong because now i just melded the end point hold on <laughs> I want to emphasize like this wrist being up. I want to really um, make it so that it's you know like that line. I don't know. Thus, I love emphasizing certain things. Um, you don't have to do it like me, but I I love to just be like. Okay, well, I like this thing about this pose. Let me just make it that much more intense. I need to remove some of those lines of action to just see like where his uh, his head is proportionately. So I'm looking a lot at this negative space to determine his chin position, like this here, this negative space. I'm looking at to determine where his chin is. So, taking here, coming down, like that. And then his head is about. <laughs> I'm being very careful about the head because I have this tendency, like, I have two tendencies. Oh, I'll be super honest with everybody. That way, in whenever I pick this up again and do gestures again as a classroom theme, we can uh, discover if I've grown or not. So I, I make the heads too small and then I make the, the limbs too long. <laughs> so I give people, uh, have you ever seen those? Um, it's like normal, idealistic model and then heroic type body composition where the head fits in more and more times in the body I, I always like naturally lean against making it like a heroic body type which is when you know the, the body's quite long and and buff and <laughs> yeah I like I just need a job with Marvel and I'll, I'll be fine <laughs> but um yeah I digress that would be cool, though. Wouldn't it be crazy to work for Marvel? That would be nuts. I'm seeing there's... Can we see the bottom of his jaw? No, we can't really. He's got his ears, like, lowered. That is weird. But, hey, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> now his neck comes up right next to his spine okay we're good we're good on that and he's got more muscle than I gave him credit for 
So now I'm coming in and I'm going to like clean up a little bit because I always make these like short, stupid looking lines. <laughs> and then I like go through and I'm like, okay, well, what can I add in terms of descriptions of what is happening? Um, so he's got, so his scapula is coming out here, right? And it'll come out here as well. So I can add, well, just, I'd like to see what I'm doing though. If I could just, right here, there we go. So yeah, once again, I just look to like kind of cleaning up shop a little bit because I make a lot of searching lines, seeking lines, and then I like to come back in through and try to make it more accurate. Like I'm seeing his ribs come out and then in right before his hips. So I need to be more accurate about it. And it's it's more subtle um, than you would think sometimes. This line has some undulations that I'd like to show. Like that. I would love to work on this silhouette here. If you see where his boxers cut into him? Right here. And then he's got like this bump right here that helps to show that there's um the scrunch happening here with the stretch it's like you know how women like will will do everything for this not to show right <laughs> but like the more i do gestures the more i super appreciate those parts like i don't know why they're just like really satisfying to draw I'm just emphasizing some uh, some overlaps that I see. I really want to emphasize this and this because then it shows that that knee is going that way, like back in space. And there's one right here for that muscle. And I would love to have some kind of indication of that ankle bone. Okay. All right. So I think this is pretty much as far as I would take it. Just for like a normal everyday gesture. It's also like, guys, this is my first gesture. Never be so harsh on your first gesture. Like if, like, I mean, your first gesture will be what it is. You don't have to, you know, agonize. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go, like go around and go check on everybody, see what they've been doing, how they've been doing. Ooh, I knew there'd be some kind of dinosaur on this page. <laughs> I just knew it. <laughs> you're doing great. Oh, nice. You're doing it multiple times. That's awesome. Ooh, lots of lots of um, curvy lines. Nice. <laughs> yeah, no surprise to see lots of beautiful construction over here. Cosé, cosé. <laughs> You're doing great too. Nice. Nice, nice. Oh, you guys, never be ashamed of your gestures. Hold on. Can I like go into my system? I'm going to I'm going to show you guys some of my first gestures, okay? Can I embarrass myself in front of you guys? Do you guys want that? <laughs> Everyone click F for respects if you want my embarrassing first couple of gestures. Oh. <laughs> okay. Let me go find that. Shouldn't be too long. 
<laughs> I love, I love the Fs. <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> okay, so let's go to. I have my gestures set up in months, so I've been doing them for six months. Um, so in month one, I have all of my first gestures. Let's find a particularly like not great one, like one of my first first ones. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I have one where I did this exact one. Oh, guys. Hold on. There we go. So this is one of my first ones. You could see, th so this is the last time I did this. Wow. So you can see the growth. You could see the growth. Oh my goodness. Okay, so if you look at the one, the one that I did for this one, and that was six months ago to this one. Right? Right? <laughs> they're not bad. What do you mean they're not bad? Well, they're not horrible. I just picked that one because it was like that that was can I grab some that are worse <laughs> here here's some that are a bit worse these are in charcoal so these are in charcoal yeah so they're traditional like that's it's a little bit harder because you have to like figure out how to fit your stuff on the page but you could see Yeah, this was probably like the first week or something. Um, and I, I do do them every day or I try to do them every day. It, it doesn't always happen uh, lately. So I need to get back on it, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> but yeah, I had a super, super infatuation with like uh, extreme poses, which I still kind of do. And I did choose some really, really interesting poses for this week. Um, so you guys, you guys, time to go back to your own canvases. <laughs> Let's do the second one. Let's go. So um, <laughs> let's, let's go. We're, I'm going to take away. All of these lines that I did on the side here. And I'm going to make this little guy smaller, like way smaller. I'm just going to put him down here for funsies. Yes, the second one is always better, you guys. And then we're going to have fun. Oh, again. I'm going to put him up here, actually, just so I can have space. So I did this one, too. Actually, let's see the progress on this one. So I'll have it off to the side. I actually have this one from six months ago as well. So that's going to be cool. <laughs> also, if you guys want, do you want my Pinterest board with all my like Pinterest uh, gestures? Like how many of you would be interested in that? Because it's a big folder. It's like a huge folder of gestures. Do you guys want it? Because... I, th I feel like that might be really beneficial to some of you here. Okay. It's a massive board, so I'm, I'm more than happy to share it. Um, let's go gesture. And then here we go. I'm going to share it. Well, I'm sorry for the people that won't be able to go on Pinterest, but that's the link to the Pinterest board for people that can. People that can't, my apologies. Can't really do anything about that. Um, okay. So let's keep going, shall we? At this pace, we're only getting three gestures done, so I better get going. <laughs> um, okay. So. 
this one, this one's pretty cool. Like I, I actually love this one. So there's, there's like, I would just, I would just pick this kind of a thing. It's like a zigzag, right? But the thing that I want to like really, really work on is that, that, that chest pillow situation, right? So without further ado, let's get cracking. That's crazy. That back bend on this woman. Woo! Like, that is nuts. Like, I could never just be in this position. I think I would die. <laughs> Sorry. Um, she's also quite thin. Like, very thin. That's unbelievable. Okay. Again, with the searching lines, I'm trying to get better at, at really, like, making more beautiful long lines. So we'll see how that goes with this one. this cube situation. <laughs> oh, it kind of comes out. Hold on. No, it's definitely not too late to join a canvas. Um, so let's see, where are you? You're over here. Oh, here you are. There we go. Approved. There you go. So what you will do is you'll find the gesture that we're doing and you'll just double click, double left click. You'll own that layer and then you can uh, turn like turn it vis visible and then you can start to uh, do your gesture. <laughs> I almost lost my slide and then I realized, oh, <laughs> I have this little guy in the corner here. So it's good for finding uh, my spot. Okay, so her head. <laughs> this one's hard. I don't know why I always do this to myself. I always pick hard ones. <laughs> That's the time it gets fun. So don't give up, guys. You guys got this. So we, we are seeing like the bottom of her chin. Seeing her face. And then she's got this hair billowing out under her. Um, kind of goes in and then back out like that. And then hits the corner of that block. Yeah, straight lines does help this one. You're right. Her hand here kind of ends right where the hair ends, so that that's helpful. And then she's got
Well, hello. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Lega. Um, Lega, if you want to watch somebody paint, that's fine. But if you wanted your own canvas, like, let me know. There, There is, there are a few more. I'm going to make a few more just in case. Just in case to make sure. I'll approve you. But yeah, do um do pick your own canvas if you want to uh join us. Totally could watch too, that's fine. <laughs> okay, so I love the line of this leg. Like so here's what I want to do. Like take it. Just. <laughs> there has to be like a. A rhyme or reason to the way you do this. But I do want to exaggerate it. A little bit. It's not enough. Okay. Ballet feet are so cool. <laughs> Man. Having a hard time with the chicken scratching today, but do forgive me. I've tried to replicate here um, some of my favorite brushes. I find the egg brush does a really good job for for this. If you guys are looking for like what brush might be okay to do this with. Um, yeah, Andy. So I, I warm up every morning that I can, which I'll say is normally around like six out of seven days I'll warm up. Uh, so I warmed up today sometime around 7 a.m. And then I had uh yoga and then i had some meetings so uh i came here and the first gesture was kind of like my second warm-up ish and then this this is uh just me not having done gestures in a few days i think two days just generally because some days i'm more busy than others and i just don't you know, I, pr I try to prioritize my sleep. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> it takes you two hours to warm up? What? How is it taking you two hours to warm up, Andy? Must be all of those ha cross hatchings. Oh, my dude. That's nuts. Yeah, the cross hatchings. I knew it. I knew it too. I called it. Okay, so this is lining up like her hand is lining up with her shoulder. <laughs> so this does take a while. Like the way that I do it, it does take a while. So I apologize to anybody who is you know gonna show up here and do like fast gestures or whatever um those are cool like there's nothing wrong with them just to be very clear i think that people who do fast gestures probably get to understanding more of that line of action than i do um i just kind of like to take my time i feel like i get more out of it Yeah, some people though, everyone's different. Some people need the 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 clock cuz they they just they noodle too much. But if you're doing like meaningful strokes, 
the entire time and you're taking your time, that's fine. Yeah, I understand why some people are like, yep, we're going to have you on a timer. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that was not a good stroke. That was... Ooh. <laughs> Sorry, I do judge myself a lot when I'm painting. Anybody else have some weird quirks while they're painting? Or they're drawing or whatever? <laughs> I always have weird quirks. I'll make noises. <laughs> I'll berate myself for being bad. <laughs> Oh, it's it's funny. <laughs> if anybody's ever been in a paintathon with me, they know like they'll be in the middle of painting something and they'll just hear like, "Oh, that's so bad." And then <laughs> it's just me commenting on my own stuff. <laughs> like <laughs> I need to stop doing that, but it's it's yeah. Oh, I hear you, Angel. Yes, but that's good. It means you're properly empathizing. That's that's actually really nice. Empathizing and really understanding what the emotion is in a portrait. It's so key. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I was doing this um Elijah Wood portrait like a little while ago and his his expression is so intense. And um like, I, I don't know, like a lot of you don't know, I have my degree in medical aesthetics. So I know a lot of things about like, you know, nails and, and feet and massotherapy and skin. Um, and I'm really obsessive about my skincare routine. And I would do, be doing these like this, like intense expression while I was drawing. <laughs> and I, I would go like do my skincare routine later at night, I'd be like, wow, I have creases. I have like, ah. So I have to be like, you got to be careful when you do that like too long. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Hadley, you got to be careful. It's so, it's crazy. So this shoulder kind of goes like this. And then there's like a dark. How many steps is my skincare? Okay. So I wash, I exfoliate, I wash again. So that's three. Um, then I steam extractions. So then I do, I, I wash again and do a mask but it's like two different masks because i have like a com combination uh skin so i have like an oily t-zone and then the exterior is dry so i do like a clay mask for the t-zone and i do a, a hyaluronic <laughs> hydration mask for the rest and then after that i rinse it off and uh, with cold water and then i apply a serum a cream and if it's nighttime, then I apply a zinc cream instead of that final cream and go to bed and then wash it off the next day. No, my face won't be worn out. Actually, that's really, really good skincare. Um, <laughs> it's not fancy. It's because I have like, um, I, I lived for like a long time with really, really bad skin. Like I had eczema and uh, it was like on my hands too. It was really bad. Uh, so the facial, which is what I just described, that's like maybe twice or three times a week. Um, and of course I always do my nighttime routine and my morning in the morning, I just wash my face and put moisturizer on. Like that's not an everyday thing. Um, but yes. <laughs> yeah. Never get me started about skincare. I'm so obsessive. Like it's really bad. Okay, let me look around and see what everybody else has done. Let's go. Haha, <laughs> cool. Nice. I love the cross hatching. Your stuff is so cool. 
Nice. You're getting it. Yeah, you people are good. Like, you're getting this stuff. Yeah. Oh, that looks nice. I like that. I like that you did you did some onion skinning. You did like a bottom layer and now you're going in on top and doing some line work. That's cool. Oh, that's mine. <laughs> nice. I love like Oscar, I love how stable this pelvic area looks. It really does look like she's like on there. I love that. Jose. <laughs> I love saying your name. I'm so sorry. <laughs> nice. Nice. You're doing good too. Yep. You got the gist. Nice. And you're getting there too, Hadley. Just keep going. <laughs> you got this. And then here is Lega. Nice. Nice, nice. Okay. Cool, cool. I'm going to give everyone a five minute intermission or like five minutes to finish this pose. I'm going to be right back. I have a little minor emergency. I have to go off camera for a minute. All right. Sorry about that. I'm back. Um, yeah, I had someone like aggressively knocking on my front door. I was like, uh, go away. <laughs> but <laughs> sorry about that. Um, all right. Uh, little painter, no problem. Let me just go find you. Here you are. Approved. Nice. So go find your own slide and you can very very much join us no problem okay so i want to see like what the growth was since i did this so this was month one that i did this and you can see it's the one oh no it's not it's not it's just close this one this one at the bottom oops <laughs> sorry guys false alarm i thought it was the same one did I mess it up? I know I did this one. I'm not going to waste your time looking for it. Um, but I know I did this one somewhere. Oh, well. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to take this one. Make it small. like that turn off that layer go to the next one hey you guys th so this one's like really really interesting and this one really really forces you to look at what's actually happening um so here let me actually move 
this one over here. I think that, that's a better positioning so that I can get the other gesture on the board here. So everybody who's ready, go ahead and switch with me to this one. Um, I just want to double check. You guys can hear me, right? You can hear me? Um, so yeah, we're just going to start on this one. So this one's really interesting for the fact that if you look in space at what's happening here, I'm not drawing the circles very well, but you can see like the hips are like looking down at us. Like we've got like the, the hips are turned towards us. If that makes any sense. So you kind of have to draw that in perspective, right? What is fantastic? <laughs> I would take your time. You don't have to move at the exact same rate as I do, by the way. Okay. The other thing that's really fun is this, this jawline. And you'll see the way that I like figure that out in a minute. So I'm going to start with the chest as always with this one. I, I don't always start with the chest, but all three of these examples have been ideal for. Um, oh, thanks, Andy. Yeah, I like picking like interesting gestures. This is almost very like zombie-esque like Jurassic looking so that it doesn't surprise me <laughs> that you like it. Very easy to turn into a dinosaur pose. I can't wait to see what you do. I'm just going to go right on in. Mm, I feel like that's a bit short on the torso there. Just want to make sure that I get the right proportions on this. It's very, very easy on this kind of stuff to very much mess up. Perspective is so hard, guys. Uh, one of the reasons why I have this one specifically is because it's so hard, like perspective wise. So I wanted you guys to get an idea of different poses than just static poses. Static poses are not my favorite. They're really, uh, they're challenging in their own way. Anytime I have a static pose, that's always when I do like my worst, honestly. I don't know why. It's just, it is what, what ends up happening. I'm going to draw through the form here and really get like a good idea of what's going on. I am going to need to resize this. So a lot of the times, sometimes when I get very, very focused on something, I'll zoom in and this is what I mean, zoom in is like, it's too big for the area that I have to work on. So I'm going to make this smaller. <sighs> and I'm noticing that the edge of her breast here lines up with her arm. So the thing that I have on mine is my arm is outside of where her breast would be. So I'm going to take that out a bit. But I noticed that her hip is a little bit more to the left of her breast. So that means my hip is wrong. Um, so I have some things that I need to fix. It's kind of, <laughs> it's 
kind of tricky, this one. But it's all right. Tricky's good. Tricky means you're growing. If you don't know what you're doing, that's the, like the best place to be. <laughs> so like that. And then like this. Yep. Yeah, feel free to ask questions, guys. Sometimes I don't necessarily describe what I'm thinking as well as I should. So please don't feel bad about asking questions. Especially if you see me doing something and you're like, what? What is she doing? Like, she didn't say what she was doing. Like, what is happening? Yep, challenging pose. For sure. So I like to kind of figure out where the head rests on the chest and then get those, those rib cage lines. I have my hips right here, I believe. Sorry if I'm being a little bit quiet here. This is uh, <laughs> a little bit more challenging than last time. Plus, I, I'm a firm believer that gestures are best done like uh, in like ultra focus mode. I, you, you know what I mean if you've ever like really, really done gestures for a while. Um, there's this kind of like this focus zone that you get into. You guys doing all right? <laughs> It's not too terrible, is it? <laughs> Good. I'm glad. Glad to hear it, Andy. Okay, I'm looking at the negative space between her legs to try and get like a good estimation of what the leg is going to look like. She's got that that drop material. Going. Oh, oh, that foot! That foot! <laughs> I love this reference. <laughs> I love this reference so much. <laughs> Look at this. That's gorgeous. Right. Bell bottom. Like, I remember these pants. Do you guys remember these pants? If you stood upright it looked like you were wearing a skirt like am i the only one who wore these pants like these pants were like it in like 10th grade or whatever <laughs> when i was a kid growing up and i say kid but it's really high school age um if you wore these pants you were like so cool so i got a pair and i was still not cool sad <laughs> it's okay you guys can laugh at me. I tried so hard. <laughs> I like don't care anymore whether I'm cool or not. And that's like the secret. It's like you're cool when you can decide you don't care anymore. <laughs> oh, don't feel bad for me, Kose. You're good. Please don't. I'm so I'm so good now. <laughs> 
Oh man, that 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 foot right there. Okay, let's see. I think that's good and then we're gonna come out over here oh, this foot is so nuts so note note that i have this line here for the floor that i'm respecting like this other foot needs to touch down on the same kind of oh it's a little back though it's a little back in this image okay let's copy that let's make sure that it's right I think I may have made my my leg a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Man, this foot's hard, guys. <laughs> you know, I just want to talk about personal growth for a moment because this is huge. Like if you knew me like a year ago, I would have absolutely at all cost hid that I was bad at sketching. Like I would not sketch in front of anyone. I would let them watch me paint because I was like confident about my painting. I would like never, ever, ever have let anybody watch me sketch. And this isn't for me to be like, oh, look at me. Like, this is more of me saying like, yo, I conquered a fear this year, guys. So like whatever it is that you're like having a struggle with, like you can do it. Like just literally just just do it. <laughs> you know that that uh, what's the gif with like uh, Shia LaBeouf? <laughs> like, just do it. <laughs> you can do it because uh, it's it is really hard, but it's also like so rewarding and so nice. Like. A year ago, I would have never been able to just like go on a live stream and, and draw. I would have been like, nope, I'm going to paint every single time. You'll never catch me drawing. And yeah, just. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you just have to work hard and then face your fears and, you know. All right, let's tackle this head here. This head is in some pretty solidly difficult perspective. So the back of her jaw is like here. And then she's got, let's see, like this kind of spacing. As much as where her clavicle is, kind of, which is here. Okay. And then here's her shirt. And her breasts are here. I'm just kind of tackling the anatomy here. And the reason I'm going into like what her chest position is, is for me to like fully understand it before I go into, okay, here's her neck and there's the overlap of her hair. So we'll deal with her hair after. Um, yeah. Okay. I need to see what I'm doing. back like that so i like to indicate like the the bottom side of the jaw is like a plane right and then the middle part here and then maybe like the bottom of her ear and then she'll have yep I have the bottom of her nose, like right there, just to kind of drive it home that that is definitely like the bottom of her face. This is hard, guys. So just like, yeah, f definitely feel it. Like if you're just like, what is happening? Yeah, like don't feel bad. This is hard. <laughs> this is hard mode. I picked a really hard reference. I'm sorry, guys. 
You guys are probably doing just fine. I'm doing the dramatic thing that I always do. Good, Andy. I'm glad. I'm glad. I wanted people that are a little bit more experienced not to be bored. Like, because, like, who wants to sit here and do, like, a T-pose? Like, seriously. <laughs> but... That being said, I'm going to just go and clean up a little bit. I feel that mine doesn't show that her belly is like turned for like her her hips are turned forward very much. So I'm going to go ahead and add some overlaps here in the, the tummy area. I really want to state. This that's happening. This that's the edge of. Wait, hold on. I think there's a better way for me to do that. Yeah, because it goes in here and out. And then back in here. And then connects. Right. So now I can go... Look at that. I could be like, here's her belly button. I'll bring that over here. There's not much description in the crotch area, which I'm just going to leave simple because I have no idea what's happening in there given it's like full occlusion shadow. Um, I'll just like that. I'll leave it simple. Yeah, because if I was about to paint this, I would not have to describe anything in there. But for me, that's my focus, is I don't have to make gestures to a level where it's, like, undeniably clear what everything is. It's more of, like, hey, if I was going to, like, paint on top of this, would it be, like, clear for me what to do? And, yes, because I would just put a shadow there. So there would be no need to describe it. I, I don't like putting a lot of detail in shadows. I, I just find it redundant. Um... All right, so let's have a look at what all of you guys did. Let's go. Oh, cool, cool. I love how you're turning every single gesture into something like more interesting. Super, super cool. Oh, bye angel bugs, that's cute. I love that. I love that little send off, so adorable. <laughs> Nice, nice. Again with the onion skinning. Love it. Nice. I mean, look at Oscar over here. Flexing. He's already doing like shadows. <laughs> He's like, this is boring. I gotta do it even more. <laughs> nice. Nice. Yeah. Yep. Nice, nice. Ooh, yeah. Oh, I like how you're exaggerating like this hand over here. This hand being like, I love that. That's really cool. <laughs> okay, ooh. Yeah, we're still on this one, right? You're doing good though. I would keep practicing if I was you. I think you're getting the hand hang of it for sure. Ooh. Ooh, I like that. So I like the flowiness of this. You're like really leaning and exaggerating into the flowness of this in a way that's like, it's really pleasant to see. Okay, who did this? Right. So this... This achieves something that I'm, like, trying to do in my stuff, which is, like, better, like, longer lines. So I really like that. Good job. Over here. Okay. We have someone starting over again. Nice. 
Okay, so we're going to do a lightning round, guys. We have like 15 minutes left. So we're going to do like the next one, but like maybe not the next one. It's really hard, that one. <laughs> so the next one I put in because I was going to talk about like really, really hard perspective. And everyone is super, super welcome to do that one at home, anytime, whenever. But I think for a lightning round, this is very, very hard. So we're going to skip to the last one. Okay, guys, we're going to go to the last one. I don't know what's happening there, like behind. Okay, just going to ignore that, but all right, so... Make that one smaller. Yes, to the lightning round. So this one, uh, I want to talk about balance a little bit. So balance, usually like the the head, if you draw a straight line, usually that's where the point of balance will be. Like a foot will be there or something like that. With this one, she's dancing. So it's not that's not going to be because she would be she would be in this position and she would fall this way right so it's the action of like dancing and so that principle like will not apply so you'll have to just like observe what is happening and and describe it that way it's also really nice and flowy and i know some of you in particular were really strong with that so you're gonna love this all right lightning round let's do it let's do it we'll get super focused though okay I love how angelic this pose is. I just like want a pair of wings behind her. Like, I don't... I am altering this one a little bit. Like I'm I'm just going for the feel of the pose. And when you're doing that, it's kind of just about kind of knowing what the, what this feels like to do the movement. It's kind of like with the first pose, I really liked this kind of movement. With this one it's like you know, if that makes any sense to anybody. <laughs> I love these fluid movements and gestures. They they just they make me happy, right? Oh, 
Oh, these feet. Like, I'm sorry, these feet are gorgeous. Like, her feet are absolutely crazy. Look at that. That is nutso, but like in the best way possible. Am I the only one who like revels in the beauty of the human body when I do gestures? Like I just, <laughs> like, I spend half my time with like my mouth agape, just like, just like this is amazing. Um, it's like one of the reasons that I love doing gestures. It's because you just like see how amazing the human body is, and you're just like, wow, this is crazy. Like some of the stuff that, that people can do, like just some of these positions that people get in, you're like, what? Although you see beauty in replies, what do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> Just gonna accentuate the scrunch because you've got this this um, stretch and the scrunch. I'm just doing that right now. You need new glasses. Oh, you meant reptiles. You know, if you hadn't said that you find beauty in reptiles, I'd have never known. <laughs> it's not like every single post of yours is reptiles. <laughs> For real, though, I love seeing them. I see every single one of them. A lot of people don't understand. Like, I am obsessive about all of the art channels in the Discord. Everything you post, I see it just putting that out there and i love seeing it all like it's so pretty <laughs> it's it's awesome to see you guys interacting and like just participating and stuff i just love it you guys are awesome <laughs> Yeah, so I think I've 
finished. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hide my reference. I'm going to take all my cute little gestures. I'm going to make them a little bit bigger. And then what I want to encourage you guys to do is like do the same thing that I'm doing right now. Um, like take all of the gestures you made today and make them just a little bigger, like spread them out on the page evenly or whatever. And then go over to the class moments text channel in the classroom section of the discord and like go ahead and post it i want to see all of you guys' stuff like uh put all of the gestures like kind of on the same board like this and uh you can even just be like you know gestures and then you can put the date 20 24 03 15 and then you can put your name and that's that's how i um that's how I save them in my folders. And that way I can always track my progress. Gestures is an amazing exercise to do. And it is so fun and so rewarding. So I just want to inspire you guys. Like if you don't already do gestures, please give it a try. Um, I know everyone here did and they're amazing. Let's go check up on them. Um, nice. <laughs> More dinosaurs. I love it. I love to see it. This is so awesome, guys. Excuse me. I'm getting thirsty. <laughs> but, uh, okay. Nice. Oh, yeah. He's gone. Gotcha. Nice. Nice. Yeah. I super encourage you guys to post these. It'll be so fun. Mm-hmm. Yo, everyone's doing so good. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm coming, Hadley. Don't worry. <laughs> there you go. See, if, if you do some of these, like, you don't even have to do them every day. But if you do them, like, at least, like, at very minimum, like, once a week or twice a week, uh, you will see improvement. Especially if you're you're consistent. Like, if you can just be disciplined enough to do it often you're gonna get better uh, there will be improvement and you know don't don't feel bad sucking like if you suck that's fine i showed you guys some of my first gestures they weren't that great and uh you know i grew from there and so whatever level you're at you can totally get better it does go up from here i mean there's you can only go up if you're gonna like put time and effort into this you really can only go up so Nice. I love to see all of the stuff. You guys are doing great. Nice. Again with the really nice swoopy lines. Good job. Love it. Yep. Going to your second one, Hadley. Don't worry. <laughs> You're trying different colors. I love the experimentation here. Good job. <laughs> nice you guys oh man so yeah give it a shot and definitely post in the classroom section i'll be interacting with you guys there after for a little bit today um i hope this has been somewhat instructional and that i've passed on uh my knowledge to you in in the best that i could um this has been anya six months into gestures <laughs> maybe i'll do another one in six months and we'll see <laughs> Nice. I'm glad you had fun, Andy. And I, I hope it was fun to everyone else, too. <laughs> Aw. It's, it's glad, glad to hear you guys uh, had a good time. So with that said, I will encourage you guys to come onto the Discord and have fun. Our next couple of activities here, we have... We have our hangout, like our weekly themed hangout tomorrow. This is a Discord only event. Uh, it's happening tomorrow around 9, 930 is when people kind of start congregating. We're just going to hang out. 
Um, I don't know what the theme is. I'm not in charge of what the theme is. It's usually either Nexus or Cyber. So they show up, they do a board, and then we just we just do a study. It's super fun. Um, after that, I believe the next thing we have is on Tuesday, March 19th at noon EST, we'll have translucent objects with Jonathan Hardesty. So tune in for that, and I will see you guys soon. All right. Bye for now. <laughs>